Kellogg's Fruit Loops is proud to sponsor programming that stimulates children's growth and sense of adventure. Sagwa was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Yes, yes. We can find him, Shigwa. Dongwa? Come out, come out wherever you are. Okay! Game's over! You win! Ah! Ah! I win! You said it! I win! Yeah! Once again, the big brother is the champ! Once again, the big brother is a pain. That was fun. Let's play again. Sounds great to me, Shigwa. But let's up the stakes this time. How about... Loser cleans the clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, oopsie daisies. Hey, that wasn't funny, Chet Chet. Don't get your tail in a knot, Sagwa. We were just having fun. Maybe we should dump water on you. Your face is all dirty. That's not dirt. It's her markings. He knows, Shigwa. He's just trying to make me mad. Better get back to the palace so your mama can clean you up. <laughs> <laughs> mama? Oh my gosh! We have to finish the scrolls! She made us promise! All dirty. I look this way for a reason. Sawa, hurry up! Come on! <laughs> Whoops! Hey, be careful, please. What happened? Sorry. Act. 
accident. Well, watch it the next time. I don't see why we have to practice writing anyway. I'd much rather be practicing my gung fu. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's so funny? You! <laughs> Come on, Shigua. Don't make fun of our brother. He's just trying to be... Yeah! Hey, okay, we've got it. Will you please finish your writing? Mama will be here any minute. Don't you want her to be proud of you? What's there to be proud of anyway? That we're practicing our writing. Big deal. That's your idea of a good time? Dongwa, you know our family tradition. We've always been calligraphers. Calligra... what's that? Calligraphy is the art of writing words so that they look very beautiful. And for many generations, it has been our family's honor to write down the official scrolls of, of all the magistrates, magistrates of this province. province. Boy, Sogwa, you sound just like our father when you say that. What's wrong with that? I like it when Baba talks. Hey, I said cut it out! <laughs> What's going on in here? It's time for bed. But, Mama, we're not sleepy yet. Nope, not sleepy. Well, that's two of you. Where's Sogwa? Here I am, Mama. Sogwa, what are you doing up there? How many times do I have to tell you not to climb so high? I'm sorry, Mama. Now to bed with all of you. And Sogwa, please try to be more careful. Do you remember what happened the first time you climbed up high and got yourself into such trouble? Yes, Mama. I remember. Well, I don't remember. That's because you were only a baby. Don't call me a baby. Dongwa, be nice to your little sister. But she was a baby then. She was barely born. Dongwa, I said... I'm sorry, Mama, but sometimes she asks the silliest questions. Dongwa! Okay, okay. Sorry. I can't help it if I was so little, I can't remember. So what did happen? Oh, no. Not this story again. Please, Mama, please. What happened? Well, Sagwa, do you mind if I tell your story again? Oh, that. Well, if you want to. Well, all right, then. Let's see. It all started one morning at breakfast. <laughs> Come on now, children. We have to hurry, or your father and I are going to be late for work. Yes, we must go. The master is waiting. Why? Pardon me, Dongwa. Why do you have to go? Why do you have to go and write down those ridiculous rules anyway? Wh what? What are you talking about, my son? That is our job, our duty. But don't you hate writing down the magistrate's silly old rules? Sometimes he's so unfair. Dongwa, it is not for us to say what is fair and what is not. We are only cats. And very lucky cats, I might add. Look at where you live. Look at what you eat. Do you think the alley cats have it this good? Young man, I do not ever want to hear you talk like that again. Yes. If you're ever overheard, we will all be tossed out in the alley. Or worse, Dongwa. Remember your place. But... No buts. Finish your breakfasts. We will be back later. My dear, only 93 gold pieces from finding your people this week. 93! What's wrong with 93? Well, dear, there's nothing wrong with 93. Except, well, except if we had collected more, then I would be able to have new robes made for our three beautiful daughters. I said, our three beautiful daughters. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yes, 
You see, my darling, you are, after all, the ranking magistrate in this province. And, well, your people expect your beautiful <laughs> daughters, and of course myself, to dress in a certain regal style. Yes, my Lotus Blossom, whatever you say. Yes, mm. exactly. So, it's quite simple. More rules, more rules, more fines, more fines, more money for your beautiful daughters. <gasps> Don't you agree? Yes, of course. Anything you say. Well? Well? Well then? Well then what? Well then do it! Yes, yes, all right, my lovely little lychee. Anything. Anything. <clears throat> Reader! Yes, Your Excellency? What new rules did we set forth last week for the good of my people? Let me see, Your Grace. Your Grace, last week you banned laughing, dancing, telling jokes, any kind of celebration, and in general, having fun in any way. Well, there you have it, my lotus flower. I think we have about covered it all. I really do not think there is anything left to ban. Well, there's always singing. <gasps> singing? What a marvelous idea! And while you're at it, put an even bigger fine on it than usual. All that noise disturbs my beauty naps anyway. And those of your three daughters, I might add. All right, all right. Let it then be decreed. And not one moment too soon. Uh, my delicate Chinese plum, if you will just allow me. <clears throat> Reader, royal cats. Come forward so my word may become the law of the land. Nikolai, come here. It's time to do your duty. We are ready, Your Excellency. Yes, yes, all right. <clears throat> Let it now be decreed that there shall be no singing from dawn until dusk. A very wise law, my dear. But is it strict enough? A very good question, my capacious kumquat. A very good question. You know, I really hate it when those people sing at all. So let's just make it no singing period. Today's new rule. There will be no singing from morning until night, and from night until morning. That is my word, and that is the law. By the order of His Imperial Excellency, etc., etc., etc. This rule will keep them quiet, so I can at last have some peace. From now on, only I shall sing. <laughs> Must not sing, must not dance, must not laugh or lose your pants. That's the rule, that's the law. Not allowed to say ha ha. If you do, night or day, woe is you, you have to pay. Ahem. One would think you could get a little law passed around here without such a big fuss. Come, darlings, it's time for our mud baths. Before I leave, though, one more piece of business. Here are the names of those who already broke the rule today. When it is dry, go read it to the villagers. This is the worst rule yet. Look, he's even fined the cook just because he sang while feeding us our breakfast this morning. It's just not fair. Remember what you told Dongwa. It is not for us to say what is fair or unfair. It is just our job to write it down. After all, we are only cats. We cannot change the world. We're not helpless just because we're cats. We can change the world. How am I going to get down? I have to jump. Uh-oh. This is not good. Hmm. Now 
it says there will be singing from morning until night and from night until morning wow this is great singing all day long this could be a good thing after all uh-oh i've got to get these paw prints off of here i've got to get out of here Well, now I see you've really gotten yourself in trouble. Foo-Foo, you found me. Wait a minute. I thought you couldn't see so well. I can see better upside down. And I can also see that you are, once again, a mess. So, what is it this time? Ink. Ugh. Can you fly me to the pond to get cleaned up? Ink? Ink? <laughs> ink doesn't come off with water, especially this ink. You better get used to those spots, because they're not going to go anywhere. Uh-oh. Oh, dear, I am in so much trouble. Think of it as a fashion statement. Not just for that. When I fell in the ink pot, I messed up one of the magistrate's rules. If he finds out what I've done, he'll put me out on the street. He'll put our whole family out on the street. I heard my mom say that to my brother today, and he was only mouthing off. Ooh. Hey, you, take it easy. Don't fall apart on me. Let's get out of here. Well, now you've got it done it. You are going to be in so much trouble. Thanks for the support, Dongwa. Oh, sorry, but how... What? I mean... How did you get like this? I... I fell into the ink pot. You what? Well, <laughs> you see... <laughs> Mama and Bob are going to be so... Hey, hey, Sagwa knows she's in trouble. And I'm going to help her solve her little dilemma. In the meantime, you are making much too much noise. Noisy, noisy, noisy. It won't do us any good to draw attention to this little mess. And I need some peace and quiet to think and work out a plan. So why don't the two... I know. Leave. I can't wait to tell everybody how ridiculous you look all covered in ink. Dongwa, don't say anything to anybody. Our whole family could get in trouble because of what I've done. Okay, okay, okay. But you owe me one. Will you please get out of here? All right, all right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, quiet at last. Uh, now, where was I? The plan. What am I going to do? Oh, yes, the plan. Now, let's see. If we just... You're two minutes late. Get the scroll with the new rules, take it into the village square, and read it to the people. Now! Sagwa, keep calm. I'm going to fly down to the village and see what's going on there. I'll be back with a report before you know it. Jai Jin, my friend. By order of His Imperial Excellency, I hereby decree that His word shall become law, and that the law of the land is that there will be singing from morning until night and from night until morning. It's true. It's true. See right here. The people must sing all day long. What's this? What is all of this horrid, horrible, happy noise making? Really, my dear? How dare they disobey your rule? Yes, how dare they? Your 
430, 431, 432, 433, 434. <laughs> 434, my dear, a new record. We shall be wearing clothes of gold by this time tomorrow if all this singing keeps up. It's almost enough to make one like music. Why are all these people singing? Why are you singing? Didn't you show them my new rule? But, most honorable magistrate, this is your new rule. What do you mean this is my own rule? Who did this? Yes, who did this? What are you smiling at? How can you even hear yourself think? But listen, my wondrous water lily. Listen to those beautiful words. They are singing my praises. In all my life, my people have never said a kind word about me. Why, my dear, in 30 years, I've never before seen you cry. Well, in 30 years, my people have never called me kind. Imagine that. My kindness has caused them to sing. How very beautiful. Who's this? Oh, so you're the one who changed my rule. Mama Meow, Baba Meow, come here quickly. <gasps> Look what your kitten has done. Because of what Sagwa has done, I want you to write three new rules. For the first new rule, I take back all the old rules. The people may now laugh and joke and dance and whistle from morning to night, from night to morning, whenever they desire. As to the second new rule, from now on, my village shall be open to all stray cats. And all cats shall eat delicious fish ah. every day, as much as they wish. As to the third new rule, from now on, all Chinese cats shall have dark faces, paws, and tails, in honor of the greatest of all felines, Sagwa of China. Wow, Mama. That was a really great story. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've already heard it. But thank you, Shigua. And now it's time for you to go to bed, too. But I want to hear more. <laughs> there is no more. That really was the end. <laughs> wow. Sogwa did such a good thing. Well, yes, Shigwa. In many ways, she did. But, you know, she also did some things she shouldn't have. Really? Really. But here's the good part. Many times, we actually learn from our mistakes. Hmm. I didn't think about it that way. I guess Sogwa learned her lesson. Everybody did, I think. Even the magistrate? Especially the magistrate. Now it's time to sleep. Tomorrow's another day. And another adventure. Oh, dear. You're already starting to sound like Sagwa. <laughs> Sweet dreams, my little adventurer. You certainly know how to land yourself in a bit of trouble from time to time. But your heart is always in the right place. Ha, ha, ha.
like the fun of playing and learning together is more than just good. It's great! Songwa was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Yes, yeah.